So it's not just a Narendra Modi versus Rahul Gandhi in Uttar Pradesh, but also Narendra Modi versus Mulayam Singh Yadav. To explore that now, joining me tonight is Siddharth Nath Singh from the BJP. I'm also joined by Kamal Farooqi, the Samajwadi Party. Also joining me tonight, new spokesperson for the Congress, Meem Afzal from the Congress, and Ashok Malik, senior journalist who covers, of course, uh, the BJP and has written many articles on Narendra Modi and what he needs to achieve in Uttar Pradesh. Mr. Siddharth Nath Singh, Team Modi taking over Uttar Pradesh. Is this a precursor to Narendra Modi actually contesting the general elections from UP? Some say from Mr. Vajpayee's uh, earlier seat of Lucknow. Sonia, it's a cursor of indicating that BJP takes Uttar Pradesh seriously. We have amongst many general secretaries, those who have been working in certain states, they cannot be removed from there. For example, Madhya Pradesh, Chhattisgarh and so on. So, the, one of the competent general secretaries who has performed in 2007-2012 election is Mr. Amit Shah in Gujarat. He's been very successful in election management. So we have taken that talent into Uttar Pradesh because Uttar Pradesh is a place where BJP feels that we can increase our tally substantially. And therefore he has been placed. As far as Narendra Modi ji is concerned, certainly he is a, uh, a unifier in Uttar Pradesh and there, are, there, there is a groundswell uh, for the BJP, for Mr. Modi. And so all these things will be combined. But at the, at the end of the day, we do need a good election manager who can create a, a mood and plan the election so that we become victorious. But you've taken the battle literally to Mulayam Singh Yadav's court because, of course, the whole uh, clash of, uh, say, of uh, what you all call uh, pseudo-secularism in a sense or Mulayam Singh Yadav's brand of secularism versus what the Samajwadi Party would call Narendra Modi's brand of Hindutva. Amit Shah is now in charge of your most important state for the general elections. That's, of course, Uttar Pradesh. So it's been a carefully calculated strategy to put in there. No, but Sonia, let, let's understand. Our brand of Hindutva uh, could be different than others, but I, I personally feel Hindutva is nothing but it's a way of life. And Hindutva in BJP's terminology means development and development for not a particular community, but development for 120 crores of Indians. And that is what we are trying to uh, pro project. And unfortunately, the people who are sitting in your panel, I happen to be with them in another channel, they all, without, when we talk about development, they are the ones who start saying, you have brought Modi, you have brought Amit Shah, because you want to create a communal frenzy. But the, the fact is, they are the ones who are starting it. Their track record, particularly, let me say, Samajwadi Party in Uttar Pradesh, in last 15 months, they, the communal violence has really gone up in Uttar Pradesh. And the Congress sitting at the center has done nothing, even to point to them that this is, uh, this it's cannot be tolerated. So, let me get so both they are hand in glove. And for them, because they, they, have, they have nothing else, Sonia, they have nothing else to mm -hmm. exhibit on the basis in the state and the center on development. They want to create this communal frenzy and that is why so they saying, have sounded the bugle on the communal It's only line fair to get them to respond. Kamal Farooqi, the Samajwadi party, ironical that you all are playing the communal sure. card when Siddharth Nath Singh making the point and you've seen the recent judgment of the Uttar Pradesh High Court itself saying that you can't withdraw cases. The famous Akhilesh Yadav gamut that you'll withdraw all so-called false cases against Muslims. The High Court stepped in that is actually what you're saying is a backlash, a communal, is just a backlash to the policies introduced by the Malayam Singh Yadav government. No, please, uh, let us take uh, the whole thing one by one. As far as uh, the... Uh, uh, this is the prerogative of BJP or any other political party to bring in any person, be it Modi or uh, Amita or uh, the uh, Varun Gandhi or anybody else. Mostly that is their prerogative. Isn't and it a direct challenge to Mulayam Singh Yadav's no, brand of politics? Uh, obviously, politics is a uh, challenge No, but again. to his brand of politics, no, to his uh, wooing uh, of the minority as as, vote uh, pack. As, as far as, no, please understand, ours is not the minority party. Ours is a party which believes in the Samajwad. Ours is a party which definitely takes care of the Muslims because which is the one of the largest part of the country. In fact, 20 per, 22 percent of the Muslim, total population of the uh, UP is uh, belongs to the Muslims, and it's an important segment. But Samajwadi Party is taking care of not only the Muslims but is taking care of the B OBC. It is even taking care of Brahmins. It is taking care of the other communities also. Our plank is uh, you refer to Allahabad High Court. Allahabad High Court, please understand. It was in context of the release of some innocent through the Nimesh Commission report. In fact, Nimesh Commission was appointed not by us. It was appointed but why by Mayavati Why please, not say the release please, innocent please, youth? Please. Why Muslim youth? Innocent. We are talking about the innocent. Un unfortunately, up to now, in all the terrorist cases, 
बी इट इज मक्का मस्जिद बी इट इज समझौता एक्सप्रेस बी इट इज मालेगांव बी इट इज पुणे ऑल दोज पीपल हु हैव बीन रिलीज दे देवर मुस्लिम एंड देवर इनोसेंट बट देवर फेब्रिकेटेड इन टू दिन टू दीज केसेज लेफ्ट राइट सेंटर एंड इवन दी ऑनरेबल प्राइम मिनिस्टर होम मिनिस्टर हैज रिसेंटली सेट दैट एन आई ए विल बी टेकिंग टेकिंग इन टू ऑल दिज अकाउंट सेपरेटली एज फेर एज अलाहाबाद हाई कोर्ट इज कंसर्ड अलाहाबाद हाई कोर्ट हैज डेफिनेटली कम इन टू पिक्चर वी रेस्पेक्ट दैम एंड दे हैव सेट दैट यू कैनॉट विदड्रॉ द केस विदाउट हैविंग दी सेट प्रिंसिपल ऑफ द लॉ definitely we are going to follow it and we we are going to take it up further but this case is an isolated case this does not mean that you will uh, you will take it up as a uh, as a universal case for the up up is a up is a uh, is a do you a, welcome narendra modi's entry in a way into politics in uttar pradesh who are we being who are we to welcome so or non welcome reaction to it? our reaction is that we will face it no sir we will we, uh, uh, they are saying uh, they are trying to bring in the communal face they are trying to bring in amit uh, 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 amit shah uh, uh, varun gandhi and uh, uh, narendra modi into will have uh, will up people will face them and they will uh, teach them a, a, a lesson in fact the kind of lesson which has been uh, uh, taught to them in karnataka recently it will be taught in up also we are we are well, we are for a fair game well, we, uh, we have a fair game karnataka and uttar pradesh two very different issues and there it wasn't really about uh, just religion the corruption played a key issue meem absolutely if you can come here in a sense the congress uh, caught between a rock and a hard place the bjp has charged you with supporting what they call the samajwadi party's communal politics that you haven't done anything about communal riots in uttar pradesh what does the congress feel about narendra modi actually entering up in a sense through amit shah we have uh, uh, nothing to offer mr narendra modi our uh, uh, aim we have i've already said before and it was published by all the newspapers as well as the same day the uh, narendra modi Uh, uh took the decision for the uh, maya kodnani and others so i had said that they will never change these people are they have a mindset and they will always work accordingly and now they are showing after uh, uh re recently they have a uh, uh, No, but, but Mr. Mr. Abdul, for instance, uh, the points that Hatna is saying made in the recent UP Assembly elections, we saw various Salman Khushi the reaching out only to the Muslim vote bank, which seemed to have backfired. We saw, for instance, the, so the quota, the ordinance introduced just before no, no, key no, elections no, no. in Uttar Pradesh. Not so the Congress to strategy the to woo the minority vote bank backfired. You see, uh, Mr. Salman Khushi, when he gave an statement about uh, minority uh, reservation, he was the minister of minority, and it is his duty. to explain what is the status of the government regarding the minorities uh, reservation and uh, other things you know that's why he gave the explanation but it was not because he is he is a muslim that's why he say because he is looking after the minority affairs he was looking after at that time he gave that statement and moreover it's our policy it is in our manifesto 